Hey guys, we are Alex and Sarah James, and you are here for our 16th van tour. This is the 16th van that we have built from custom crafted vans, and this van is powered by Battleborn batteries. Like Alex said, this is van build number 16 and it is ours. The first two were ours and then we built 13 client vans and now lucky number 16 is ours again. And we're so excited to show you guys our van. So come on in for the full tour. So first things first, we've got this nice bench seat here for the kiddos. We took out their car seats so we could show you guys. This makes a nice seating area, especially if you have older kiddos that don't need car seats anymore. We've got our table here that swivels around on a lagoon mount. One of the other great things about the seat is it actually folds flat to create another bed and another sleeping space for the kiddos. And if you have a taller kid, you can swivel the driver's seat around and their feet can go onto that. We did upgrade our two front cab seats to the Shieldman seats just because our Sprinter is a 2018. So it was made prior to Sprinter switching over to the nice upgraded cab in 2019. So we decided to buy a used 2018 van and just upgrade the seats so that we had nice comfy seats to ride around in. One of the things about doing this style family van layout with the extra seat is you do lose a little bit of storage. So we try to incorporate it in where we can. We have a nice upper cabinet above the seat for a little bit of storage for the kiddos clothes. Below the seat, we also have a drawer for diapers and wipes. It comes in very handy. And then above the two front seats, we do have the headliner shelf, which is where we store all of our window covers. As I mentioned, we do use our headliner shelf for all of our window covers. These are by our good friend Scott, who is a van lifer, made these awesome blackout shades for Sprinter vans, the 2018 and older and the 2019 and newer versions and they are totally awesome because they just snap right into place with magnets onto the window. Just like that. And you can find these at thewonderful.co. We'll leave a link down below. Next up, we have our kitchen with this beautiful solid surface countertop and farmhouse sink. And I was really glad that Alex let me do gold in this van. He really was a hater on gold and brass fixtures for a long time. So we have this nice faucet. You guys have seen this before. It's nice because you get to pull it out and you can spray out outside the van if you wanna, you know, hose off a kid or a dog before you come in. We have a beautiful tile backsplash. We did this nice little crisscross asymmetrical pattern with it that I think just turned out really beautiful. An outlet in our kitchen so that we can pull out our induction cooktop stove plug it in when we want to cook and then store it when we are done cooking. We didn't want to put something permanently in the counter just so we had that extra countertop space. We also have an isotherm 65 liter fridge in our van. Now a fridge size is typically something a lot of people have varying opinions on. We find the 65 liter is great. You do have to go to the store every few days, but then you're getting fresh food and not wasting anything along the way. We have our standard wet bath over here with a shower and urine diverting toilet. You guys have probably seen this if you've watched any of our other van tours because we love building in a wet bath like this so that you can easily go to the bathroom on the road and take a shower before you go to bed if that's your thing. We also have the Nautilus self-cleaning retractable shower door. Again, you've probably seen these in our van tours if you've ever watched any of our tours before. Again, having a bathroom is really nice, especially if you have kiddos who are going through the potty training stage and you need a toilet readily accessible when they gotta go. Moving to the back of the van, we have quite a bit of storage with all of the overhead upper cabinets, a dresser for just, again, clothing, extra storage. And then we have our convertible table bed area. One of the nice things about doing the lagoon is you can push it out of the way. Kids can easily climb up. Everybody can scoot in and then you can pull the table back to your side or if you even want to do it this way or something you know you got options with these because they can spin all around 
At night, you remove the lagoon table base. This creates the missing piece of our bed. All the cushions come together, and this creates an almost king-size bed in the back. That One of the reasons why we love this is because you can have this functional space during the day where you have a table, somewhere to eat, somewhere to play games, crafts, whatever you feel like doing in your van, and then at night, you can create a nice, comfy bed. Now we're gonna talk about the details. This is a 170 extended 2500 2018 Mercedes Sprinter. So what that means, it's huge. This is the biggest Mercedes Sprinter that Mercedes makes and we needed that because we needed that extra space in the front to fit in the convertible kids seat so that they had a place to sit when we were driving and eventually when they're a little older, somewhere to sleep as well when we're on the road. Now this is a V6 turbo diesel engine and that diesel gas tank also powers our S-Bar diesel heater. One of our favorite things about this van is that it is propane free. We don't have propane to cook with, we don't have propane for heat. So what do we do to cook? Well, this bad boy has 810 amp hours of Battleborn lithium batteries made here in the US just down the road in Reno, Nevada. Now, Battleborn has powered this vehicle with their new GC3 battery. It's called the Game Changer 3. They released it last year and it is a game changer for those of you in the van conversion business or you DIYers wondering, how am I gonna power everything I'm gonna put in this van? In fact, we have so much power that we have a 12 volt air conditioner, the Dometic RTX 2000 for climate control. That allows us to run an air conditioner without being plugged into shore power. So it's not your standard RV air conditioner that you're used to seeing in so many of uh, the older RVs and, and manufactured vans out there. Now we love that system because it allows us to use it when we're on the road in a really functional way. We have tons of battery power for that, our fridge, uh, our hot water heater, all of the comforts that we wanted to have in this van that we had in our old vans when we were living in these things for almost two years on the road full time. And honestly, the features that our clients come to us at Custom Crafted Vans looking to have in their vans as well. When it comes to the water system, we have a 33 gallon fresh water tank. Also, like I mentioned, the two and a half gallon water heater. So we have hot water at both the shower and the sink. And typically when we were on the road with 33 gallons, drinking the water, showering pretty much every day, you can go three or four days before you really need to worry about filling up somewhere. Now, the electrical system, we mentioned the 810 amp hours. How do we charge that? Well, we have three different ways that we can charge our battery bank. First, we can plug into shore power. Just like any RV, we can plug into shore power and charge the battery bank through our 3000 watt Victron inverter charger. When we're on the road driving or when we're out somewhere in more of a primitive campground area, we can also charge using our 200 watts of Renogy solar panels that we have up on the roof. And when we're driving, we have a 30 amp Orion Victron smart charger that charges off of our alternator while we are driving as well. So we've got three different ways to, ch to charge and power our battery bank and Battleborn Batteries makes it all possible. We love the guys down there. They have incredible customer service. So if you are looking for a way that you can power whatever rig you're working on, highly encourage you to go check out Battleborn Batteries. Even give their customer service a call. Ask for Ronnie. He's awesome. He'll get you all set up and answer questions you have. Let's talk about the outside features. For a lot of you, this is one of your favorite parts of van building. What can I put on the outside of the van to make it look super sweet? Well, you got a lot of options. We have always used Illumines products. They've got a facility down in California and we love that they have one here in Idaho. So we have an Illumines side ladder, an aluminum roof rack. We also have the aluminum light bar on the front with a couple lights mounted on. Um, and so all of that allows us to have extra storage up on the roof. We have vent cutouts for our AC unit and our vent fan. Um, we can get up on the roof. If you wanna know if you should build a rooftop deck on your van, we have another video on our channel where we talk about how much we love, we don't love, rooftop decks. Um, so outside features, all the Illumines gear, the solar up on the roof. We did upgrade our wheels and tires. We went with the Bridgestone KO2s and also the Black Rhino Havasu. And one of our other favorite features of this van is we gave it a two inch lift. Uh, van Compass, their two inch striker lift kit for the 2500 non four x four. It just gave it that little bit extra that we needed as far as ground clearance because this is the extended and also just makes it look awesome. And we did upgrade to their Falcon three stage shocks in the back. We beefed it up with the 5,400 pound leaf spring in the rear to lift that booty. And all in all, this thing drives like a dream. So it doesn't only look good, but it also performs incredibly well, which is super important. 
And when you want to be connected, we've got a WineGuard Connect 2.0. It is a Wi-Fi booster, cell booster, and can even be its own Wi-Fi hotspot if you put an SD card in it, SIM card, whatever those things are called from, you know, phone companies and stuff. Now we're going to play our new favorite game, What's Your Favorite Part of the Band? Dun, 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 Wow, that was quite an intro. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? Yeah, that was really good. All right. My favorite thing about this van is the cabinetry. I love that we did the stained wood cabinets in this van. We really wanted to show people something different. A lot of our clients come to us for the white, light, bright, beautiful vans with all the shiplap, but we wanted to show you can incorporate wood elements and it'll make your van even more beautiful. Love the slat wall. The slat wall and the cabinets, those are my two things. The double slat I get, walls. I get that. And actually the tile, so yeah. I have that's three things that are my favorites. <laughs> what about you? What was your favorite thing? Well, I've got a couple options. I want you to let me know what you think. Number one, it could be that I built this van three times. That's your favorite thing about it? I've built this cabinet three times. I've okay. built those cabinets no. three times. Or <laughs> my other favorite thing could be all of the exterior upgrades that we made to our van that we had never done to our personal van before. So the truck bed treatment on the outside, just I love the way that looks. It really takes the BA factor up a little bit, if you know what I'm talking about. And the suspension upgrades, the two inch lift, the bigger leaf difference. spring, the, the adjustable Falcon shocks, all of that from Van Compass. And okay, I have like way too many. The air conditioner, we have an air conditioner in this van. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, and heater. And 810 amp hours of lithium battery. Yeah. What about, what about the gold? You like the gold in here? I do love the gold. I was not into the gold for a couple of years. But... And he told me we could do gold, so we did gold. Yeah, I got tired of, you know, brushed nickel and black after a while. <laughs> Matte True. black. True. So. All in all, we are so excited to have our van officially done, completed. The boys love it so much. We haven't officially taken it on our first trip yet. But we'll be sure to let you guys know when We've we been do. Been a little busy opening a shop, yeah. hiring employees, bringing in clients' vans, and it's a little cold in Utah, right? Or we're not in Utah. It's a little cold in Idaho. <laughs> do you right know where now. we live? Are you so okay? It's been a day. <laughs> Is he having a stroke right now? <laughs> oh, it's been a week, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching this van tour. Let us know what you like in our van in the comments section down below. We have a lot of van tours coming out before you yeah. know it because we have nine vans booked this year. Yeah. Nine vans booked this year. So get ready for some fun van tours. And actually, some different style vans coming up pretty soon. So We are doing some fun ones. So I'm excited to show you guys. So thank you for watching. Smash that like button. <laughs> Isn't that what the kids say? Something Smash like it. And ring the bell. And ring the bell. Oh, yeah, I click the bell for the notification. Something there like that. There you go. We're not that trendy. I saw an old guy actually say that in a YouTube video recently. And I thought it was cool. Anyways, we will see you guys. <laughs> 